Welcome to Fayetteville High School on the occasion of our graduation ceremony for the class of 2015. It is our pleasure to host you as we celebrate this milestone with our seniors. Please allow me to grant a request of the class for a moment of reflection. At this time, I'll ask Jasmine Parks and Dorian Thompson to please come to the stage. Hello, I'm Dorian Thompson. Um, I moved to Federal City High School when I was in the 10th grade. Um, uh, I'm a little nervous, so you know, bear with me. <coughs> but I got here, they welcomed me. Um, I was surrounded by a whole bunch of awesome teachers, and you know, I enjoyed every day here. Um, I moved from Lincoln County, and no offense to any Lincoln County students or whatever. Um, yeah, I enjoy the school better. But it's cool. Um, but it's not always um, easy keeping up with me because I'm never in the same class I'm supposed to be in. I'm always walking the halls. There's one time I was walking the halls and I was like coming down that hallway right there and all the teachers just started looking at me, like poking their heads at the door. I'm like, oh, something's coming up, right? I just kept walking. Next thing I know, there was a debabble going around the school saying, um, do you know where Dorian is? And I was like, ah. Oh. And I just took off running down the hallway to get to the class I was supposed to be in so I wouldn't get in trouble. So keeping up with me like, was a hard task, and I appreciate um, what y'all did. Teacher, and <laughs>
At this time, I ask that everybody would please bow their heads for a prayer. Heavenly Father, first I want to thank you for blessing my classmates and I with the great privilege of high school graduation, the most significant milestone in our lives to this date. I want to thank you for giving us such a great administration and school staff. They have been so good over the past few years here at Federal High School. Thank you for this tight community and family we have built and bonded from our time together. Lord, we ask that you give us the strength to get through this prayer and ceremony. Help us remember that this feat we have waited so long to accomplish is one that calls for joyous celebration, a feat we should all be proud to be a part of. Help us to remember that it is you, Father, who is in control of our lives and that we must be courageous enough to have faith in your promises to us and in your love for us. We ask that you bless the loved ones, friends, and family members that were with us on this journey through high school because it is obvious now why you put them in our lives. Father, please continue to order our steps in lives the way you sit, see fit to glorify you. As we start the new chapters in our lives, allow us to look back on all the memories, the laughter, the tears, the trials and the triumphs, the good times and the bad, and smile because all of it has, made, has been great and so worth it. These memories made us great, and we are all bound for greatness. It is in your Son, Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Thank you. At this time, I'd like everyone to stand as our band plays the national anthem. I'd like to direct your attention to the flag at the back of the gym. After the national anthem, you may be seated, and the Gates sisters will sing our alma mater. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to begin tonight by thanking each of you on behalf of the entire Fayetteville City School Board for putting your trust in the administrators, the staff, and the teachers 
of the Fayetteville City School System and Fayetteville High School. Graduates, as we celebrate your individual achievements tonight and the combined achievements of the entire class of 2015, I've got to tell you, you are the source of a lot of pride. Our dreams of high academic achievement, of outstanding extracurricular accomplishments, and of young men and women of integrity and character have clearly been fulfilled over the past four years. You have set a very high bar for students who will enroll at Fayetteville High School in the future. Speaking of the bar, it is my honor tonight to introduce our speaker. Ray Fraley is no stranger to Fayetteville and Lincoln County. A native of Virginia, Ray was educated in North Carolina and he has practiced law in Fayetteville since 1973. A former Marine officer and Vietnam veteran, Ray is a man of seemingly endless energy, intelligence, and wit. Ray is a tremendous supporter of community activities and our young people in this community, both by his generous financial donations and by his commitments of personal time and energy. Throughout his life, Ray has set incredibly high expectations of himself and those around him, and that makes him a natural fit here on Tiger Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me tonight in welcoming our speaker, Ray Fraley. Hail to thee, life spirits. And thank you for those kind words, Mr. Mayor. You know, publicity is like poison. It won't hurt you if you don't swallow it. Would you ever, you graduates, look so happy again in your bloom as you step into that big limousine for that mystery ride? Marabli dictu. Marabli dictu. It's a Latin phrase. It simply means wonderful to relate. And I confess to you as an 18-year-old graduate in Virginia, I'd never heard the word, didn't know it. But it is tonight wonderful to relate. Why? You young people have set a bar here in Lincoln County that we're so proud of. I mean that sincerely. We've raised the bar and given Lincoln County attention to education athletics, and all the other that go with a solid, well-rounded education. Well, there's a road that leads to glory through the valley so far away. No one can lead it for you or take it for you. They can only point the way. So what can a man in his eighth decade tell you young, eager beavers in the springtime of your life, what can he say? Shakespeare may have touched on it, and, uh, and I kind of agree with it, when he wrote in his As You Like It, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women, merely players, they have their exits and their entrances, and in one man in his time will play many parts. So as you leave Fayetteville High School and begin your journey through life, you'll have your exits, your entrances, your ups, your downs, and in your time, I'm sure you'll play many parts. I cannot give you the formula for success. I wish that I could. But I can give you the formula for failure, which is try to please everybody. In your life, you will be fronted with multiple choices, every day perhaps. As a high school graduate, you now have three choices. You can go to college, and if you go to college, you can go to work, you can go to the military. If you choose college, 
and you complete your degree, you still have three choices. You can go to graduate school, you can go to work, or you can go to the military. But if you complete your graduate studies, you've got one choice. In other words, eventually, unless you choose to be a hermit, you will have to go find that job. And that is when, if you are not mindful, young people, your life could be, you could find yourself in a rut. A rut. We're going to talk about that. Again, Shakespeare addressed that perhaps when he had Macbeth in Act 5 say, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace in this petty pace to the last syllable of recorded time. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets its hour upon the stage and is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. What a dismal way to look at life. So what do we do to avoid the rut? I'm going to suggest to you four theme words, theme words that helped me and influenced me in my life, and perhaps likewise for you. I'll give you the words, list them, and then we'll discuss them a little bit. The first word is curiosity. The second word is autodidact. The third word is periphery, a peripheral. And the fourth word is discipline. I must confess that when I left high school, I did not fully appreciate that my high school teachers, like yours, have planted that seed of curiosity. So now, you must sow that seed. Curiosity. It is a desire to know, an inquisitive interest of others' concerns, an interest leading to inquiry. But curiosity is not enough because you have to take the next step to satiate that curiosity, and that's the word autodidact. I confess again that that word came to me late in life, but it simply means self-education. That's all. Curiosity, what do you do to satiate? You have self-education. Without reading, without studying, without exploring, without attempting to understand. How do you make a choice that's rational? I gotta share with you my experience as a young man when I got out of high school in Northern Virginia. I had a baseball scholarship, but I don't know if I was ready for college or not. And after two years of some success on the diamond, I realized that I was lacking something and I looked around and saw folks that I ordinarily would not have associated with, but learned I liked them. But I wasn't ready, so I took off. And I went out west, I picked peas in Walla Walla, Washington. I worked in Berkeley at a pizza joint. I worked in South Dakota, in Mitchell, South Dakota, at the world famous Cow Palace, selling trinkets outside the door. It's a beautiful facility, by the way, and very famous. I didn't know that. Played baseball in Rapid City, South Dakota. I was a dispatcher for a turkey farm. Didn't see a turkey, but they, you had to have a job to maintain your amateur status. Worked in Yazoo, Mississippi. I worked in a, as a night clerk in a hotel in New Orleans trying to write the great American novel, and that was an abysmal failure. Went back out west, and one night, traveling about two o'clock in the morning, I had this epiphany that I needed to do something in my life besides bouncing around like some hobo, singing Willie, 
Nelson and Woody Guthrie songs. So I called my mother and mama, get me in school somewhere. So she did. I went home and I ended up in Wilmington, North Carolina, living with my great aunt who was then 66 years old, six feet tall, and one of the most amazing women I have ever known, bless her heart. I had a room of my own and I said, Aunt Jesse, I'm gonna spend the first three months here studying by myself. I'm gonna be a recluse. So I started reading Russian novels in English. And I realized how deficient I was in vocabulary. Words, words that carry the message. So I began to write the word on a sheet of paper with a definition, I fill up a page and I put them on the wall. And in three months, that entire wall was wallpapered with words, words. And I began to feel better about myself. I graduated from college, played more baseball, finished up in North Carolina. And I had those three choices, still work, which was anathema to me at that point. Military, uh, not yet. Graduate school, I don't think I'm ready. So I went to work in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, blue heaven, go heels. And I began selling insurance and I was successful, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the idea of selling death to somebody. I didn't like it. So one Thursday afternoon, leaving Chapel Hill, North Carolina, I drove to Raleigh and joined the United States Marine Corps. I had second thoughts immediately, <laughs> driving back, trying to explain what I'd done. And I spent a total of 12 years in the Marine Corps. And to show you young people that you don't have to be in a hurry, I didn't start practicing law until I was 30 years old. Isn't life when you read books, listen to your music, tweet, I didn't have that, but choose your friends, not because they share your roots, but because they have quality. And this school is important to demonstrate that very thing. How many exchange students do you have here? How many young people have you befriended who are from a different culture, who are from a different world, yet have something to add? That's important. Third word, peripheral. Peripheral just seems means this, outside. If I can put this mic down, outside. You've got self-education, you've got curiosity, now you find interest outside of that. Now, when you're married and have children, you'll have plenty of outside interest, believe me. Band recitals, dance recitals, baseball games, football games. To be a good parent, you have to be involved. But you also need time for yourself. You need to find those things outside of the humdum day of life, the daily day of life, to make you happy, to give you some contentment. I love reading. I've been in a little theater and done some acting. I have loved triathlons, marathons, 10K races, biking, running, anything. And I like to write. I want to write the great American novel yet. I write plays, I want to write poems, I want to do things. Maybe I'm the original ADH, whatever you call it, poster child. I don't know. Third and fourth word, discipline. A key word. I asked my dad one time, I said, Pop, what is it that drives you? He said, son, I believe in two things. Whoa. Baseball is the greatest game, and discipline is the key to life. I thought about that for a long time, and many of you will have these choices that you'll have to make, and most of them will involve responsibility, choices of responsibility. Family, friends, workplace, but more importantly, discipline of respect, discipline, uh, discipline of responsibility not to jump to judgment, not to judge too quickly. Folks, it's so easy to hate. So easy to hate. 
We've had a country full of hate over the years. We've had hatred in Europe. We've had tragedies because of that hate. And the root word of hate is fear. Fear. Fear developed because you refuse to be well informed so you'll know why you maybe have a fear. Our world is in transition, there's no question about that, and through any era of transition, there must be navigators, individuals who know where we're going based on where we've been. Individuals who gain an understanding by fully exploring before forming an opinion, before accepting someone else's opinion. I must, I'm, I'm concerned that the good in this world perhaps outweighs the evil, the bad. But sometimes I wonder if it's just by the slimmest, slimmest margins. Lost time, young people, can never be found again. T.S. Eliot said something that I've loved over the years. Footfalls echo in the memory, these memories. Footfalls echo in the memory down the passages we did not take towards the doors we never opened. Open the doors. And if your life is fully experienced, I promise you, there'll be no waste. Don't tell people who you are. Show them. Stay optimistic. Be a human doing, not just a human being. We are all, all of us, guilty of the good deeds we do not do or did not do. You're walking from this building in the springtime of your life. Experience wonderful things. So that when you come to the winter of your life, you will be able to say, like I hope I will be able to say, that this is the true joy of life. The being used for a purpose recognized by yourself that is a mighty one. The being thoroughly worn out before you're thrown on the scrap heap. The being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clod of ailments and grievances complaining to the world that they're not trying to make you happy. Well, as George Jones said in one of his country songs, the race is on. Don't make it a rat race because if you win it, you're just a rat. Make it a human race. Stay curious. Be an autodactic person. Find your periphery. Stay disciplined. In your life, you'll find that there are overrated treasures. Big cars, fancy clothes, jewelry, overrated. But you'll find underrated pleasures, family, friends. Enjoy it. Enjoy them. They are the most important. Lord Byron perhaps summed it up best, and I love this, and I hope you'll share it with you, when he said, from the wreck of the past which has perished, thus much I may at least recall, it hath taught me that what I most cherished deserved to be dearest of all. This is the great theater of life. Admission is free. Taxation is mortal. You come when you can. You leave when you must. The show, my dear graduates, is continuous. What lies behind you, what lies before you, are tiny matters with what lies within you. Carpe diem, seize the day. Good night. At this time, we would like to begin the presentation of diplomas to the class of 2015.
our valedictorian, Bonnie McGlynn Wakefield. Salutatorian, Eamon Joseph Morris. Top 5%, David Edward Bradford. Taylor Danielle Bryan. Top 10%, Katrina Faith Bussell. Kelsey Marie Elliott. Jasmine Nakaya Parks. Caitlin Marie Plunkett. Austin Michael Rennie. Top 15%, Natalie Marie McDonald. <laughs> Tadaria Rainey Runnels. Presenting our senior class, Jessica Lynn Bailey. <laughs> Tamia Lanaya Baker. <laughs> Devin Michelle Balsama. Bethany Marie Becker. <laughs> Kelly Lee Beckley. <laughs> Carissa Miata Black. Kristen Tisdale Black. <laughs> Victoria Danielle Brazier. <laughs> Zakara Bronche Buchanan. Donovan Kari Khalil Buford. Yeah. 
Kelsey Taylor Call. Osborne Sebastian Cowell. Christina Nicole Krim. Robert Tyler Daniel. Latravius Lade Emmons. Jamaria Nakaya Gates. <laughs> Joshua Frederick George. Christopher Michael Goggin. Ashton Lee Hahn. Kendrell Dominique Hall. Sean Allen Hall. Denzel Rashad Hampton. Shannon Denise Harden. Ikea Tanisha Harper. Zachary Dylan Harwell. Tiaria Rose Hasten. Allie Catherine Heppington. Cameron Tyler Holman. Destiny Nicole Jackson. Kiawana Monet Jones. <laughs> Amber Ann Keel. James Rodney Key. <laughs> Darion Thomas King. <laughs> Azaria Leishon. Landers. <laughs> H. 
Haley and Marie Martin. Arion Tobias McDonald. Kelsey Camille Mitchell. Itzel Maria Nava. Madison Lane Newton. James Tyler Owens. Chad Edward Oxendine. Michael Isaiah Parks. Angelica Sue Pasquel. Joseph Lee Patterson. Shelby Lynn Hearden. Tyler Scott Petty. Aaron Nicole Price. Eric Lee Pullen. Jordan Danico Ray. Brittany Marie Scott. Summer J. Shelton. <laughs> Gustavo Shiamatsu. Nicholas Allen Sis. <laughs> William Isaiah Steele. John Lewis Strong. Let's go!
Patience, Savannah Thompson. Brianna Janae Turner. <laughs> Nicholas Warren Vitale. Luke Allen West. Roslanda Shantae Whitaker. <laughs> Georgia Ray Wright. Class of 2015, we confer that each of you have met the requirements set forth by the Federal City School System and the State of Tennessee and declare you Federal High School graduates. Valedictorian Miss Bonnie Wakefield to lead you in the turning of the tassel. Please rise, graduates. Yeah, yes sir, yes sir.